Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 40 of FTB Interactions, world download episode as usual. Might be a little bit late as usual, but I'll get it up there eventually. But uh, yeah, world download today, episode 40, uh, taking a look at, I don't even know what, I started poking around, right? The main thing that we've been focusing on is enchanting um, and mana pearls, which is going to give us access to a lot of things, both Batania and enchanting wise. Um, we need Ender Bookshelves to really ramp up on our enchanting, right? So to make Ender Bookshelves, we need Purple -pur Blocks, which can be done with Mana Infusion with Purple Concrete, which totally looks doable. And we need an Alchemy Catalyst, which needs a Mana Pearl. In addition, we wanted to do the Mana Enchanting System, right? Which needs Mana Pylons, which needs... Uh, do we not need Mana Pearls for this one? I forget. Mana Steel Plate, Rose Gold Screws. So the Rose Gold was... That's available in an MV Furnace, so we should be able to make that right now, right? We determined that we can actually pull that off. Man of Steel and Illumination Powder and some Orium Gems. Not bad, right? Uh, does that have to be Orium, or can it be can it be any one of the gems? Because I know some of them... Yeah, we'll have to see, right? Orium. Uh, I did find out, by the way, uh, in talking with Hellfire, right, that uh, basically when it gets to the final growth stage, the time of day determines when you will or what type of crystal you'll get so if it's daytime it'll be an orange one when it fully grows if it's dawn or dusk i think it'll be this blue one uh and if it's nighttime it'll be the gray one so that's kind of cool tip right uh so that's neat to know so we can probably get the starlight crafting altar going but i definitely like to be able to get under bookshelves um, so that we can get mana pearls right so we need mana pearls in order to get that we need unstable mana and Eyes of Ender, but we'll deal with that in a minute, right? The main thing I'm looking for is this Ender bookshelf because my my understanding is, and I need to figure out how these work, but my understanding is these things will allow me to get books that have multiple enchants on them and split them out so that it's one enchant per book. And then what we can do is use that one enchant per book at the mana enchanter in Batania to apply those enchants to weapons without losing the books. Then we can build like basically a library of really good and powerful enchants. And because we have Apotheosis in the pack, there's some really good and powerful enchants, right? You can get like Sharpness 7 and like these absurd things. Without further ado, that's kind of our goal. So I think today I'd look to look at Mana Pearls and look at what's in the process of getting those. We need Unstable Mana. That's the main thing, right? Unstable Mana is made in a Mixer LV tier with mana, which we know where to get that. That's like the stuff in the ground, right? And is there a way to get mana? I think we determined there was, right? You can get mana through that or light wells with mana enriched eggs, which come from mana chickens, which are a little bit complicated to get, but not terribly so. Like this stuff looks a little bit rough, but I'm sure at some point we can pull it off, right? Um, so at some point we'll be able to automate this mana from wizardry, right? But at least for now, we know where to find it in the world. And it looks like a decent amount, like 10 buckets become two buckets of unstable mana. But we also need ethanol, redstone, and simple power catalysts. So you can see I've got all that on my to-do list up here. Uh, simple pow power catalysts don't look bad. We need a tier two alchemy craft, right? So we need at least a tier two orb, which I looked at, we can get, it's pretty straightforward. We also need an alchemy table. Again, looks pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy there, right? We've made a lot of this stuff already. Um, and we just need some nether wart, redstone, and gunpowder. Easy peasy, feel like we can pull that off, no problem. In addition, by the way, I think we get like 32 of these when we do the demon crystallizer quest. If you look at the blood magic quests, we will see that crafting a demon crystallizer gets me 32 of these. So number one, easy to make. Number two, we'll have a lot of them from just doing a simple quest, which looks very simple to do, right? I mean, like no problem, right? Minimum 500. Do we have that much in our will thing yet? We may or may not. So maybe we have to make it still, we'll see. I forget how much will we have in our common and what we need to get to the next tier, right? We're, which gem are we at here? One of these guys has gems in it. Uh, there's the lesser, I forget how much you can hold in total. I guess 256 is the answer to that question, right? Where did I put my, where's my crafter for that thing? Where indeed, Direwolf, did you put the crafter for that thing? It's gotta be around here somewheres. Is it over here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool. So, yeah, you. I think 256 is what you hold. So if I want to upgrade you to the next tier, what would you be involved in? Plus, we want to do that blood, that 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 astral thing. So that just needs uh, imbued slates, which is what, tier 3? Oh, yeah, tier 3 might be a little tricky to get to. So 
Thinking about it, maybe we can't get this, but we should be able to get the uh, alchemy table. So we can make these. We can't do the demon crystallizer, but we can still make these with a tier two altar, right? So that's all good. Um, then we need ethanol, which ethanol you can distill from biomass. Looks like your best bet here. You can also use the distillation tower and you get like a bunch of things. Um, but I don't know how many of these things I need. You can do wood vinegar, fermented biomass, or regular biomass, right? You'll get the most ethanol from regular biomass, but fermented biomass gets you a bunch of other things, but like a really small amount of ethanol by comparison, 150 versus 600. So if what you're looking for is ethanol, biomass is the way to go. And biomass looks really simple. It is literally um, water plus any sapling. So that should be super cool. Now it takes 40 seconds at ultra low voltage, right? So ultra LV. So it'll probably take a little while to get a decent amount of biomass, but we can automate it, right? Because we're like voiding saplings over here, aren't we? So if it uses any sapling and you buddy over here have 64 saplings, I think we know exactly what we're gonna do, right? I think we do. So what we can do is set up like a quick ethanol production line with the saplings and some water uh, to, to make ethanol so that we can get ethanol, combine it with mana to make unstable mana, uh, and an LV tier mixer with redstone and simple power catalysts, and then we can get the unstable mana that we need uh, to make a handful of things, uh, not the least of which is uh, mana pearls. So that's the gist of the plan, and then once we have mana pearls, we can do enchanting and all sort of... Yay! So let's start with tier two. Um, so we want to get an alchemy table for sure, right? Bada bing, bada boom. Wisdom wood planks are the ones that we drop in here, right? Any wood planks into there. Cool. So what I did make is eight blank runes between episodes. Um, I also, as you can see, set up a tank over here. So remember, uh, this won't pump out of here too quickly, but you can tick accelerate this to help, right? And having this makes it easier to carry the portable tank over to there to do your rune crafting, right? Because normally you have to put a bucket into the altar and then carry buckets at a time and that was just getting slow so i threw down a quick portable tank now we also have a buffer of, of blood magic stuff and it's just cool right so let's um real quick upgrade this dude to a tier two i can only assume that that has not changed right you still put eight blank rooms around this dude and you're suddenly tier two right cool i assume I think, maybe, hopefully, that's true. And then um, to determine if that is tier two, we could make uh, the sigil of, not the blood lamp, divination sigil. So that is a blank slate and an alchemy array with red stew. So I think I've got my alchemy array here. We can get a piece of redstone. Nope, not that. That, and then that, and you'll make me a that dude. And then what I also want to make real quick is we want the tier two blood orb is going to be this guy and he just needs an eye of redstone, right? So I need another one of these dudes. And I assume you'd be done now. Hooray, current essence, 1800 LP. Beautiful, right? Uh, make this and then you make the eye of redstone, which needs another ender pearl. Boy, how many ender pearls do we have left? Four, not great, not terrible, but it is what it is. And now uh, it's 5,000 LP to make that operation occur, right? So we have more than enough. We've got, um, you can see I was doing crafting and stuff off camera there, right? Just prepping for the episode. FTP Interactions definitely requires more prepping for episodes for you guys than some other things, right? Sometimes I can just jump in and start recording. Other times it's like, I've got work to do. Hooray, all the, all the things. Tick accelerating. Tick accelerating. Yay. Boom. We can do it. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, so that's going to be needed for the thing that we need to make, right? Now, in addition to that, we needed two wisdom wood planks, engraved infused wood, uh, wisdom wood. Oh, good. We have two. Cool. Um, we're going to hold off on the catalyzer thing, but three arcane stone slabs. We've got, you are just made regular crafting table style. So bada bing, bada boom. We got the three of them good. Right, and then uh, the brewing stand and two gold plates, and that's it. Seems easy peasy, right? So a brewing stand is going to be this. So I just need the two brass rods, which in a lathe, it's a single brass ingot. Oh, killing me, Smalls. One of these days, one of these days, I'll do better with brass. Um, what did we want? Brass is made from copper, isn't it? 
need to get around automating grass. I haven't actually found a zinc vein in the nether yet. I don't think. I haven't completed the quest, so I'm suspecting that means I haven't actually found what I need to find. Um, so, at some point I'll go into the nether, find a bunch of zinc, and then I can make zinc, you know, the other way. So, lathe is not you, not you, 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 you. There's lathe. Cool. And that'll make the two brass that I need for the alchemy table. And then while we're at, I'll also request two gold plates. Right? So you, two gold plates, and we'll be back when it's done. And almost, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. So now we just go craft this out here. And we're missing a couple fire shards, aren't we? Do we have any in here? We've got one. So let's get the quartz slivers. I'm sure we've got some fire aspect in there. So let's get... 10 of them sound cool? And we're going to want Ignis. And as a reminder, these are in alphabetical order. And what I'm going to do is put the other quartz slivers in here. Because then we'll have them handy for when we want to make things like this. Hooray! Alchemy table. Nice. Alchemy table complete. So with you good to go, let's get some nether wart, redstone, and so for simple power catalyst, right? So in order to make unstable mana, we need one simple power catalyst. So let's make like five or six of them, right? Um, so gunpowder, nether wart, and redstone, right? Gunpowder, nether wart, and redstone. Uh, gunpowder, nether wart, and redstone. Let's make five. Does that sound cool? Five of you. Uh, five of you, and I know we found nether wart. I should probably plant nether wart. I don't know how much we're gonna need of it, but I've got enough that we can just place it and then we'll deal with it later. Now, I also don't know if it actually consumes LP. I wanna say it probably does, um, but let's find out. Yeah, I don't love your direction. Let's put you like that. That seems cool. All right, so you, I guess, go here, right? Um, and we can also validate yeah, tier two, nice. Um, we knew it was tier two because we made an apprentice blood orb, but still. So you, you, and you, and it looks like you're going. Are you draining LP for me? You don't seem to be. Well, that's exciting. Hooray, simple power catalyst. Oh, actually, yes, no, it drains a thousand LP. So that's a thing. Um, so you know what I can do? Hooray. Hooray. And if I wanted to, I could, Point it back, right? How cool is that? All right. But I'm not going to pump it back. Like, that's for my crafting purposes. Yeah, that's cool. But what I can also do is something like this, and now you're going to accumulate a lot of LP for me, and that'll be nice, right? So that's cool beans. I should have a chest over here with my blood magic-y stuff. But hey, that was a quest. That was a quest. I will do that. So that got me a blood tank and mana diamonds. Sweet. What's the blood tank do? I forget. I mean, is it meant for, like, hmm, blood tank from alchemical wizardry from blood magic? I think it's just any regular fluid tank. I don't think there's anything special about it. It's not like I can bind it to the altar or do something cool like that. So I'm going to hold off. Also, I've got an oil bucket in my inventory. I was looking at that earlier. I should do something with it at some point, but you can go away. Uh, we've got our mana diamonds, which are exciting, but not that exciting. Cool. All right. So, you know, things are happening. Things are happening. You guys are like super crafting world by drop. Yeah, no, they're like super easy. I'm just going to void. Void a few things that we don't super need at the moment, right? Because I want to not carry around all my stuff when I don't need it. And there's definitely some things I don't need to carry around. <laughs> so... Uh, with that said, we've got our simple power catalyst. Now we have to look into making the ethanol, right? So I think a distillery. Now, in fairness, um, your biomass, I don't know why it shows up twice. Like, it looks like there's, so that's 100 EU per tick at MV tier. And that's 100 EU per tick at MV tier, 6,400, 64. Yeah, like, it's the exact same thing, right? Am I missing something about this biomass? Biomass, cyclic biomass. It feels like it's just listing them twice. I don't know why, though. Uh, but the gist is we need to distill it. But we need MV distillery for this to happen. So you know what that means. Uh, lots of stuff, right? So if we want an MV distillery, right? Um, so first off, let's get let's get the let's get the biomass crafting, right? Does that sound cool? 
Yeah, let's do cyclics biomass. So you need a brewing machine, and you can be an LV tier, but maybe I'll make it an MV. I'll start with LV tier, and we can always make another one later, right? Um, now, you'll also take juice or water or honey, right? All those work. Um, just out of curiosity, because I also saw on this list, you run 72 seconds, so you take longer, and you make 180, right? But oak saplings, 40 seconds. Like, is there a shorter way? Potentially. Um, I'm just looking kind of at all the recipes here. I don't, I don't see much that's saying less than 40 seconds. Um, no, no, hey, 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 nobody panic, but there's something. Eight seconds for potatoes, carrots, but you make way less biomass. You make a fifth, right? So that is actually the same processing speed. It's less biomass per operation um, for, okay, that's cool. Hey, mystical petals works. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then we're back at honey, right? So definitely saplings because it's EMCable is the route that I'm going to take here. So let's get a brewing machine. So a basic brewery is on our to-do list, right? Let's get that added to the thing here. Yes, and do that. We're missing two glass. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, you would think. We'll get that. Uh, I'll do it down here. Why not? Not my lunchbox. Don't cook that. Give me my glass. That does work, right? I can smelt glass like this. Uh, I thought you could. Maybe I have to do it the old flower way. For some reason, I thought you could do it that way. Maybe my brain's just... You know what? Blame me recording other series and forgetting all the nuances of this pack sometimes. There's a lot to remember for what's different in this pack, to be fair. Uh, so surface mode... No, horizontal... Wall. I think I can reach that over there now. How about you? Yeah. All right, and I need my glass cutter. Forgot about that too. Glass cutter, where are you? There you are. So what I'll do is I'll probably just do it here. Because if you tick accelerate this, it doesn't matter. Actually, wait, I have it set up so I can undo this, don't I? Yes. Beautiful. Sneaky building gadgets tricks. When you write the mod, you know all the nuances that let you do sneaky things. Probably not intended that you can do this, but... Meh. Have we tested yet to find out... Um, if this is a thing we can do. So five terracotta. Do I have terracotta over here? I don't think so, but we can make some, right? I'm not sure. Have we tested this yet? I don't even know. I don't even know if we've tested yet that we can do this, right? So regular old smelting of it or casting or dehydrators can do it from cyclic or hellfire kiln. Okay, cool. Hellfire kiln is this dude. So this will work. Right? Yes. Hooray! Just curious, right? I don't know if we've ever actually tested the sink in this pack yet. On one hand, I could totally see it not working. On the other hand, I could totally see it working. So I guess we'll find out after we get three iron plates. And what we'll want is a fluid conduit, which I think would be in here, actually. And we'll be ready to test this real fast, right? So just need three iron plates. So that shouldn't take too long to put together. And then I just want to test if we can pump infinite amounts of water out of this dude into a machine like this guy. So boop, boop, obviously temporary setup. Aww, oh, that would have been cool. Oh well, worth a try though, worth a try. All right guys, we're back. So I made an aqueous accumulator, but I remembered where I had one. I definitely have one here, so that should work, right? And you should have no problem not extracting, but inserting. Right? I might have to hit something with a hammer or a wrench or something, don't I? Uh, yeah, you might need to be rotated or something. Maybe if you did that. There we go, water. Yeah, he just can't come into the auto output spot. And I think output is the back, so 
Yeah, I can kind of see that making sense, right? So realistically, I just need to get you power, right? Um, by way of a, I mean, I could throw a battery in there as temporary power. Like I just got to run some power cables over here. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do things with this, right? But the gist is this will get us biomass. I think what I'd like to do is probably just start with simple and then determine if we need to automate this, right? So like initially I know I need some unstable mana, at least a little bit of it. I'm assuming that I'm gonna need this for a lot of things in the future, right? So we'll see how much we need to automate it. But because I just don't wanna run all the cabling over here and I need to restructure all my stuff anyway for MV versus LV, I think it would be smart to just start with this and then I can use um, my reservoirs to carry stuff around, right? So all I would need is an extra reservoir here. Like I'll request the one that I have hanging around, right? And now we need to look at uh, making the advanced distillery because we need it to be advanced because we do, right? So in order to make ethanol, we need distillery at an MV tier or a distillation tower, which is HV tier, right? So let's start with the distillery, which is MV tier, which is what we can do. And we'll get the ethanol that we need to make the unstable mana so we can get a mana pearl. That's the plan. So in order for that, we're gonna need some kind of MV power. So for that, I'm thinking what we'll probably want is an MV battery buffer, right? So MV battery buffer, um, medium voltage battery buffer, right? So we can do amperage out, like, should we do just the 16 this time? Because I've regretted doing nine on this one, right? And then we can look into MV batteries, right? Whether it's sodium or lithium or whatever, doesn't super matter. And then what we'll probably do is initially I'm going to start where I'm going to make a few more steam turbines. Because remember, we can run, you know, a lot of steam turbines, right, off of this thing. I forget the math, like we looked at it, right? um lv steam turbines right isn't there steam turbine yes so there is an advance but it was on like 13 basics and a couple mediums right so what we could do is have like one or two of the advanced i just have to redo the math is it listed in the quests somewhere um is it in the power quests maybe uh the generation gap Duh, duh, duh. The LBB is capable of powering exactly 15 LV turbines. It is suggested you to dedicate four of these towards powering your blast furnace, which will bring you into the MVH. If you set up two large boilers, you'll have enough steam to even push into HV with transformers, but you should probably consider switching to diesel by then. Boilers can run on diesel and other liquid fuels as well. So, right, it can do 15 LV turbines. Did we remember how many MVs we could do? What was I missing here for this quest? I mean, it looks like they changed some of the quest stuff here because it looks like things are a little bit adjusted. Congrats on automating steam. Where does it tell me how many MV boilers? I think it just, it's double, right? It was more than double, wasn't it more than double? Um, does it tell me here what these guys use? So the math here is that an MV generator would produce four times as much EU per tick as its LV variant, but at the same time, use four times as much fuel, right? So with this math in play, Right, we can say that it's 3.75 MV generators per steam boiler, right? So, and it's 15 of these, right? So theoretically, if we put three MV steam turbines on this line, we can get into the MV age, right? And we can still keep the LV age going and then we'll have a separate power line for MV. I think that's the route I'm gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is get an MV battery voltage, these guys, and then also we should look at what MV lossless cables are, right? So lossless cables would be, that's loss per block one, that's loss per block two, three, three, zero, mana steel. Not bad, I can get mana steel. I can totally get mana steel. Yeah, mana steel cables, all right. Did I teach you how to make mana steel cables yet? I did teach you how to make mana steel cables because I am a good direwolf. So let's get like, 16 of you guys going that'll make me 32 mana steel right pretty sure that's true and then we'll get a bunch of mana steel cables and that'll be awesome i like it i like the plan that's the plan let's also look into what we need to get medium of these dudes going so we're going to need some copper wires times 16 and an mv machine hole so i should probably teach mv machine holes to our auto crafting system that sounds like a good time right um so i think what i'm gonna do let's see um we totally want you to be on the thing and you right so in an assembler you can be made at lv tier so that's cool and you need copper cables i think i already know how to make those and mv machine casings so yes let's do that 
and then you just need eight aluminum plates, which shouldn't be too big of a deal either, right? Because I've got, check out how much aluminum I've got. Booyah, aluminum for days. So that's cool. All right, so let's get out our um, pipe manager and pipe controller. Uh, we're gonna want our crafting cards, all 14 that I happen to have. Hopefully this will be easy enough to make the automations for. If I'm right, and it is, that would be awesome, right? So uh, this is the one, so if we wanna do MV machine holes, right? It is the one with configuration eight in it. So that would be you. So all I gotta do, is it yellow or red? It's yellow, cool. So I put this in here and we say uh, MV machine holes or MV machine casings equals simply eight aluminum plates, right? Easy. And that's that, right? Now, do we know aluminum plates yet? That would probably be uh, in the, is it metal bender? I guess it's metal bender. Bending machine. Basic bending machine. It is LV tier, right? So let's make sure that you guys, do I have an aluminum yet? Actually, I can hold shift on that, didn't I? Isn't that how it worked? You're the basic bending machine. It's hold shift, yes. For some things, apparently. Hey, aluminum plate already exists. Sweet. All right, so then we want, uh, MV machine casings, right? Because I don't think I've set any of this stuff up yet, have I? Maybe I have. I've got some MV machine holes, but do I know how to make these? Oh, hello. Well, that's exciting. Maybe I do already know how to make these. Did I have them already? Not you. Not you. Nope. MV machine holes. Oh, I have MV machine holes. Well, that's exciting. MV machine casings, and I'm, oh, I did already do this. Wow, Direwolf, please. Never expected that to be the case, but cool beans. And those are cheap, relatively, right? So that's cool. All right, so now if I want, um, so you guys are actually already programmed in. Uh, we probably will need to do the, that. We'll take care of that in a minute. Um, you need 16X copper wire. So I need basically 64 copper wire, right? And that should be doable. That's cool. And we're gonna have a bunch of machine holes ready for all the MV stuff we're gonna have to do in a bit. Cause we are gonna be doing a lot of that, right? Like we know that that's a thing that we're gonna have a lot of. Dude, that is awesome. 10 MV machine holes already. I think we can break into the MV tier sooner than we expect, right? And we're also gonna want three MV steam boilers, right? Advanced steam turbines. That would also be cool. Um, so we're gonna need a handful of these things. Electric motors MV, which we should probably teach to the assembler and a few other things. Oh, you're gonna need molten copper to make those. Ew. That's gonna be a lot of automation, folks. And also we need an MV assembler for that. So we're gonna have to make the first couple by hand, which doesn't look terrible. But we do need to get magnetic steel rods, which if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna need the electromagnetic polarizer to do. So I think we need to add that to our production line of things. Um, Electromagnetic polarizer, we're gonna want one of, basic electromagnetic polarizer should be sufficient for now. So let's, we're missing two tin wire and a conveyor module. That we can make, and we don't have tin wire in here? Uh, I guess not. Oh, I see, it's just two X tin wires that I need. So I can craft those by hand, right? And that should be fine. Now what all gummed up in my blue steel? What all gummed up in my blue steel? Cause I shouldn't have too much by way of gumming up. Lapis dust and iron ingots. Really, did you do the thing you're not supposed to do, buddy? I feel like you might have. You kind of gummed up, didn't you? Hmm. I thought that was mostly solved at this point, but maybe not. Maybe not. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We can probably resolve it um, just down the line. So what I think I'm gonna do is as follows, right? We'll come over here. We will make you guys so that we can make our basic electrolyzer. We'll add this to the line of automation machines, right? So what we wanna do is break into the MV tier age, right? So to do that, we're gonna to wanna to automate a lot of the MV components that we're gonna need, right? So what we'll wind up doing over the next few episodes is more logistics pipes automation and more um, 
and more and more Greg tech progression, right? More tech progression because we're a little we're a little light on some of that stuff lately, right? We're doing a lot of magic, right? With the goal of eventually getting to the point where we can do the mana pearl thing, right? Because our goal here is to get to this point, right? Which I think the only thing we need MV for at this point is is this component of it, making the ethanol. So I think we will get to the point where we're producing steam turbines so we can produce MV power. We'll pump it into an MV battery with MV batteries inside them, right? Shouldn't be too bad. Should be doable. We'll figure it out if there's anything we're missing, but it looks pretty straightforward, right? Once we've got that, we can power a couple basic machines to get that mana pearl thing going so we can do enchanting. And then at the same time, we'll be working on separating our lines with MV and LV or upgrading all our lines to MV. I'm not quite sure which direction I'm gonna go yet, but we'll probably have multiple lines of power um, and what we'll do is we'll set it up so that you've got, um, you know, a bunch of machines, uh, that are LV tiered and then another line that are MV tiered and another time that are HV tiered. And we might upgrade some of those as we progress, but that way, at least we will have a basement that supports multiple power lines coming in. Um, and what we'll probably wind up also doing is maybe moving this whole setup into the basement so that we will have a more structured plan for steam turbines powering batteries and we will not need as many long wires running down right and we can move a lot of this stuff into our basement and kind of centralize it all so i think the next couple episodes is going to be focused on rearranging our tech setup uh and supporting mv tiers right and we'll initially support it with steam turbines we'll only have three but it'll be enough to get us like the ball rolling and then we'll look into oil and that stuff so that's all kind of a plan i hope so because that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Um, so for the electromagnetic doohickey here, right, we're gonna want this guy, part of our production line. Oof, oof, we're running out of lines down here. That's why That's why I gotta move everything, right? We're running out of stuff. Now you are an unrouted logistics pipe, right? Uh, so you're gonna be here, sir. And then you're going to all be the unrouted pipe here. All right, we need another unrouted. And we're probably going to need like, you know, the, the the crafting pipes and stuff. You know, we should have a chassis pipe there. Yeah, let's get a Mark IV chassis. That should be fine. Uh, chassis should be enough because this is a simple enough machine that we don't need the complexities of the other things. Oh, no, come here. Uh, where did those unrouteds go? I did request unrouteds, right? Did I get them? I did. All right. So you will become a chassis pipe and then you can continue to be the unrouted guy that you are, right? And then most chassis have, do you extract in and out the top? I forget. Yeah, so we don't need the satellite and the result logistics stuff, right? I think that's fine. So what you'll wind up doing um, is, so for example, in order to make the advanced steam turbine, we needed magnetic steel rods, right? So we would just say this to this, right? So magnetic steel rod, right? So we'll put a crafting module in there that says magnetic steel rod is made with steel rod, right? And that should be fine. And hopefully you already know how to make steel rods, but if not, let's see the lathe here. Do you have steel rods on your thing? You do, perfect. Right, so that'll allow us to kind of start the ball rolling on some MV tier stuff, right? So we know, for example, the distillery is gonna need a pump. Um, that's gonna be a lot of pieces that we're probably gonna have to build manually for now because I'm suspecting that a lot of these things are gonna need, some of them will need MV tier, right? So like extruders, that needs MV tier. So we can automate a lot of this, but not yet. So we're gonna have to make a couple by hand. So what I'm gonna do is between episodes, make a couple MV machine components by hand, right? I'm sure some of these processors are handmade and then others, so that's LV tier, so that ain't too bad. I should probably look into like the best route for making these circuits, because I remember them being complicated, but like you get more circuits per resource if you tech up through the progression, right? So that'll be something we're gonna look into pretty soon too. All right, so that's the plan. Devil 20 signing off, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Uh, and we will continue to play with all this cool stuff. But for now, I just got to say, take it easy.